Hello everybody, Tony at Dive Tech in Grand Cayman here. I was just doing a little bit of CAD work for KISS rebreathers and I thought now would be a good time to do a walkthrough of the KISS Spirit and the KISS Sidewinder rebreathers. So I've done this digital rendering here which is meant to represent both the KISS Spirit and the KISS Sidewinder. Important to remember, these two rebreathers are essentially the same unit. The main difference of course is that the Spirit is a back mount unit with the scrubbers mounted on the diver's back and the Sidewinder is the side mount unit with the scrubbers mounted on the diver's sides. The different configurations, of course, require a different wing, harness, counter lungs, and low pressure hose routing. But aside from that, the units are identical in their function. Now, there are a number of different part options available, and there's many different ways a diver will configure their actual units. But this layout is the basic configuration from KISS. Now, a few quick disclaimers, not everything in this rendering is exact. There's some things like fittings, hoses, etc. that might be a little bit different. Uh, some of these parts I just threw together really quickly just so we could have a, a complete unit layout. The counter lung is one good example. There's no counter lung that KISS makes that's actually dimensioned like this. This was done just as a representation to give you a unit layout. Okay, let's get to it. For those who would like to look at a higher resolution version of this rendering, I've uploaded one to the DiveTech website, and I've put a link to that page in the description below. So right over here, we have our offboard diluent slash bailout supply. The KISS Spirit and the KISS Sidewinder both have their diluent fed via offboard bottles. Right here, we have our first stage regulator, of course, and this feeds to a low pressure hose with a quick disconnect right here, which then feeds to the unit. Right up here we have our PO2 monitoring device. I have a Shearwater Petrol hardwired uh, drawn in this illustration, but you can really put anything you like here. There's a number of options available including a 4-pin connection, a Fisher connection, you can have a Shearwater Nerd, you can have some of the computers from Divesoft. Basically any computer that can monitor three oxygen sensors can be put there. Right here we have our breathing loop. And the breathing loop, the direction of flow goes from left to right, so in this direction like this. Now, let's do a cross-section view to make things a little bit easier. We've cross-sectioned the loop and the canisters and the DSV. Right up here, we have our DSV, Standard Kiss Diver Supply Valve. You also have the option of a bailout valve. There's a couple of different choices there. You can have the Hollis, some of the Dive Soft bailout valves, or even the Poseidon. Uh, gas flows in this direction, so the diver's exhaled gas flows down around here, and it goes into this head, the exhale head. This is where oxygen gets added into. Oxygen is added by means of this little valve right here. This is a manual addition valve, which also has a mass flow orifice built into it right here. The mass flow orifice, when our oxygen tank is turned on, provides a little constant trickle of oxygen into the loop, and if the need arises to add more oxygen, we do so by hitting this little button right here, and that can increase our oxygen into the unit. Diluent is also added right here through the automatic diluent valve, or ADV. The ADV is just simply a diaphragm. It's basically a very rudimentary second stage regulator. When the loop bottoms out, the diaphragm deforms in, just like a regular second stage would, and it adds gas, diluent gas, automatically to the loop. You can also manually add diluent gas by pushing the purge button that's right up on the top here. So our exhaled gas and our fresh oxygen and diluent all gets mixed up in this head and then all of that gas goes down here into our exhale scrubber. This is our granular scrubber right here. Three pounds of it on this side. Uh, the scrubbing process occurs and then that gas goes down here into the counter lungs. Now this counter lung on both units is a one piece design and it also serves as a manifold to connect the two canisters. Important to remember that this lung here is just a rendering. KISS doesn't actually make a lung that looks like this. I've done this just merely for photographic clarity on this illustration. The KISS Sidewinder lung is a bit wider, where the KISS Spirit lung is a bit narrower. Both of them are about 8 liters in total volume. So our exhaled gas comes out of the lung, goes up through this secondary scrubber, the inhale scrubber, another three pounds of scrubber medium right here. And then it goes up where we have our three oxygen sensors located in this head right here. This is what's feeding data to our PO2 monitoring device that's over here. 
At the top of the inhale scrubber is this overpressure valve. If the loop were to have an overpressure situation, it would just vent any of the excess gas out of the top of the loop right here. This is just a standard dry suit OPV. So our fresh clean gas then goes back up through here and returns to the diver. The final component we didn't talk about is our oxygen tank, which is located right down here, and our fixed intermediate pressure first stage regulator, which is what feeds oxygen to our manual addition valve. That is it. That's the KISS Spirit and Sidewinder layout. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. You can just email us at info at divetech.com. If you find yourself down in our neck of the woods, you can do a tri-dive on these units. Very easy. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you diving with us soon.